When King Darius was reigning over Persia, he appointed many men to help him rule. One of these men was a man of God named Daniel. Daniel quickly set himself apart from the other rulers because he had an extraordinary spirit. So the king planned to put Daniel in charge of the whole realm. However, the other rulers were not happy about this. They tried to find a way to accuse Daniel, but they could not find a reason because he was trustworthy. Finally, they said, we will never find any charge against Daniel unless it is concerning the law of his God. So the rulers went to King Darius and said, O oh, king, we have agreed that you should establish a law that says, for 30 days, any person who prays to any God or person except you, O oh, king, will be thrown into the lion's den. And your majesty, you should sign the edict so that it cannot be changed. King Darius agreed and signed the law. When Daniel learned that the edict had been signed, he went into his house. He opened the windows of the upstairs room and three times a day, he got down on his knees, prayed and gave thanks to God, just as he had done before. The rulers who didn't like Daniel went and found him praying to his God. Then they ran to the king. O oh, king, Daniel has ignored the law you signed for he prays to his God three times a day. As soon as the king heard this, he was very upset because he cared for Daniel. He made every effort to try to rescue him. However, the ruler said to him, you know, your majesty, there is a law that states no edict that the king signs can be changed. So the king reluctantly gave the order and they brought Daniel and threw him into the lion's den. The king called out to him, May your God, whom you continually serve, rescue you. A stone was brought and placed over the mouth of the den. Then the king went to his palace and spent the night fasting, and he could not sleep. At the first light of dawn, the king got up and hurried to the lion's den. He cried out anxiously, Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God, whom you continually serve, been able to rescue you from the lions? Then Daniel replied, my God sent his angel and shut the lion's mouths, and they haven't harmed me, for I was found innocent before God and before you, your majesty. The king was overjoyed and gave orders to take Daniel out of the den. When Daniel was brought up from the den, he was found to be unharmed, for he trusted in his God. The king then ordered that the rulers who had accused Daniel be thrown into the lion's den instead. King Darius wrote, I issue a decree that all people must respect the God of Daniel, for he is the living God and he endures forever. He rescues and delivers. He performs signs and wonders, for he has rescued Daniel from the power of the lions.